Look at all this <laughs> Oh my God, you're back. So I'm gonna show you guys today how I pack my hair kit in my trusty trunk. I'm gonna show you all the details about the bag. I'm gonna tell you where you can get it in the description box below. So for the first time ever, 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 I'm gonna show you guys like inside details of my hair kit, how I pack it, the products I use, the tools I use, and all of the searching that we've done on Amazon at Container Store to like really make it compact. And this baby weighs 75 pounds, so like we're not messing around here. Literally, I am so prepared. I have to have everything for a job. I even have an extra little rolly bag with extra tools and extra hair just in case. So let's open this bad boy up. And I'm gonna leave in the description box below where you guys can find all of these things. So as you can see, I love black. We like, basically my assistants source things from all over the place so we can have everything just like super uniformed. My house is like stark white and my kit is all black. So first up we have this incredible little hanging hair organizer. The girls got this at Container Store. I get so many different accessories sent, so like for each job, depending on who I'm working with. What's super cool about this is I love that it has all the little individual pockets so that we can put different types of clips and it's just really easy when I'm like showing it to a client and picking out what we're gonna use. All right, so now this is something that's so cool my assistant Amanda got for me. This is off of Amazon. I don't even know the name of this company, but she found this amazing pouch that keeps the Dyson Airwrap that I know everybody wants. It's coming out again soon, but it basically holds everything for the Airwrap. And again, like I love a good like hanger situation for when we're on set or in a client's room. Um, and it has all the different attachments for the Airwrap and it fits perfectly everything in its place. These bad boys, I gotta stop saying bad boys. Oh, no. <laughs> Moving on to the hot tool section. We use packing cubes for a lot of this stuff, but this I'm so proud of. We finally launched these on mainaddicts.com. You guys can get these, they're hot tool pouches, and I don't know why no one thought of this. I'm so glad we did, actually, but you can put your hot tools, like if you're wrapping up, you can put your hot tools if you're wrapping up from set and you're in a rush, you put your hot tools in here and it makes it so it's not gonna damage your suitcase, it's not gonna like damage anything that it touches, like especially your product bags, because everything's plastic and can melt really easily. So all of my tools that I have in here, I have usually three different curling irons and a flat iron. I keep them all in our thermal pouches. Guys, this is so important to have in your kit. So this is basically a heat protector mat and it basically will protect your clients, like couch, any surfaces that you're putting hot tools on that like would melt away. Nothing's gonna piss somebody off more if you ruin their place. All right guys, so this is really clever. We have a first aid kit and you would not even know how many times in the hairstyling world things happen. Like I've seen, I can't say which hairstylist, but I've seen like a hairstylist accidentally cut their client's ear and it just started like bleeding profusely. We have had so many things happen. Like when I did extensions, I used to like burn my finger all the time. So in this, I have basically all the things you would need. We've got, what do we have? Eye drops in here. <laughs> We have everything we could need for anything. And you guys, at the end of a long photo shoot or a long salon day, I don't know if this happens to other hairstylists, but sometimes hairspray can leave like a weird film on your eye. We have eye drops in here just for that very thing. We've got Tylenol in case a client's hair is hurting from her tight ponytail. We even have tied mini stain removers. Don't ask me why. All right, so now moving on to the other half. All right, this is so important for every hairstylist to have. We sell this on Main Addict's website. It's our hairspray shield. It's very Uncle Jesse for all you Full House fans, but it is so smart because no client wants you to spray them in the face. And also makeup artists have said to me a million times, thank you for having this. Nothing's more annoying than when you get like hairspray little spots on the makeup. So this is a fun little cow pack cube that we have all of our cutting materials. So I've got like razors. This is a fun scissor case that we got. I love using, everyone always asks what scissors I use, Mizutani. I actually found them in Australia and Mizutani has like the best scissors. So thinning shears, I looked long and hard for scissors that I really, really loved and these thinning shears are from Japan. And then my razors I get, you can see it's actually like melted from something hot that it was next to, but these are the feather razors that you can get basically at any beauty supply store. Guys, I have no idea where I got my scissor case from. I think somebody sent it to me a while ago, but it's so great and sturdy. You can also look at Renato Campora, he's a hairstylist. He came out with a line of scissor holders that were really great, but if you guys know of any, let me know. So I get a ton of questions about what do we do with all the hair products and what do we do if they spill? So to answer your question, you guys, we've had a problem sourcing it. I would love to know what other hairstylists use because I'm not super obsessed with these bags, but we get these at Ricky's in New York. 
I basically keep everything that would spill or explode and we have it in here so it's super easy to clean. So we have so many different types of aerosols. It's not really organized by category. We just have all the products. But the reason I love these see-through bags is that when we're on set and I need to grab something quickly, I can see exactly what's in here. So we have this tiny little bag from Ricky's. This is where we keep kind of the smaller stuff. Like I love to find gels and stuff that we use and we'll like take it from a big tub. I like love going to Target to find really good like sticky hair gels. And then I also have my Anastasia kit. For you hairstylists that have followed me, you know that I'm all about like a perfect hairline. So the Anastasia brow palette, I use this on every single client. It's got all the different colors that really work for everybody's base color. I've got my packing cubes from CalPack. These come in black and in nude. I actually have a million colors. You can go to their website and see. But I love these for our scissors in the cape and like extra clips. And then this is how we keep track of all of our bobby pins. I've gone through so many different methods. I used to have like really big craft plastic cases. When your case with your bobby pins breaks and they all fall out, it's so annoying. So this is what we've come up with. So we got these fun little cases at Nigel's and we have everything labeled. So this is like our blonde pins. And then these you can find at like any craft store or like even go to like the fishing section at a sporting goods store. And you can get these fun little like tackle boxes and keep your pins super, super organized. We've got every single hair tie you could ever need. We've got our bungee bands, our silicone hair ties. I've got tiny little bands that we can hide like for braiding. We got it all. So this little bag guys is from Nigel's as well. This is where we keep like the arts and crafts section of our kit. So this is where we have all of the wig tape. Also, everything's labeled. We have our hair nets, headbands, razors, extra razors. And the wig tape I actually use all the time for stylists that like, need like boob tape. I'm like, I've got wig tape. And then this is where we keep all our smaller sizes. So like if I'm going on set and I don't wanna have, you know my shoulder hurts. So if I don't wanna have like my whole set bag full of like full size products, I usually take these little travel guys, or if I'm following a client to an event, I'll take literally just a toothbrush and a tiny can of hairspray so that I can like touch up as we like are walking to the carpet. This is so fun. I, when I used to work with Renato Campora, he first showed me how to use these. And then Guido used these a lot backstage for shows. So I found these little fun, spongy Italian rollers at Sally's. And I've had these for probably like, I'd say 10 years. I recently used this on Bella for the CFDA awards when she had that really natural curl. Um, you wrap the hair around it and then twist it and it's this fun little spongy guy and you twist it and then I flat iron over the hair and it gives you this really cool, like amazing bouncy curl. Shout out to our friend Cooper in Paris. He sent us his Belmont bag and I love that it's see-through on this side. So I have all of my Velcro rollers there and you can see like the sizes of them. So always prepare it if we need to do like a cool 90s blowout. Then my set bag, this was a limited edition that we did our first year at Way. Let me know if you guys want us to bring this back. And everybody comments on Instagram about my influencer stickers. So these stickers that are on here are from Pizza Slime. And I've got like my Way anti frizz sticker and they're just like funny, they make me laugh. Okay, so on set, these are basically my necessities. I have a Sheila Stotts brush, I've got a Mason Pearson brush, I've got a barber's brush for when I'm doing like really sleek, tight, snatched buns or ponytails. I have that for on set. And then a ton of clips from the hair shop. I've got my gold toothbrush just in case I need it. And then I have a rat tail comb and a regular comb. And this is from From. And this one, I have no idea. All right, and this little nostalgic guy is from Harrods. It's from one of my very first trips to London and I think I bought it my first trip to Harrods. But this is like my prized possession. Andis did a Supreme collab, and this is when I knew I really made it. They sent me one of them. They were really, really hard to get, and it's like my pride and joy. Even though I don't do men's cuts, you never know sometimes if a husband or a boyfriend needs a haircut, like, and I'm there, I get asked to do it. Another one of my favorite little Harrods bags. This one basically has all of my Dyson attachments. So I've got my supersonic diffuser, which I use all the time to get waves. We've got our new Dyson attachments. This is for really fine hair if you want more of a gentle dry. And then my different nozzles. I've got my styling concentrator and I have the pro version as well. So I have like all the nozzles for whatever look I'm trying to do. And then I have the Dyson white tooth comb and we'll do a tutorial soon to show you guys how exactly to use that. Okay, so another cow pack case that I use for my brushes, and it's labeled brushes because we're just psychotic over here. But this is where I keep just kind of the basics. I have a lot of like boar bristle brushes, and those I use for clients that have coarse hair and I really need to get it nice and smooth. And then I have my metal brushes if I'm trying to like, a lot of times if I'm like setting the hair and I want the 
blow dryer to really heat up the brush with like fine hair, I'll use that kind of a brush. So I've got all kinds of sizes of the boar bristles. These brushes are from Ideal and YS Park and I'll put the description below so you guys can figure out where to get them. But I love this, especially for hairlines that are really hard to get. The smaller the brush, you wanna really like work at the hairline so that you can get it really nice and smooth so that if humidity hits it, it's gonna stay nice and smooth. Look at all this shit. <laughs> all right, just to show how self-sufficient I am because my assistant's off camera right now laughing at me, I am going to be a big girl and put all of this stuff back together where it belongs and just show you how easy it is to do. Is this right? <laughs> so far, I think so. Hold on. Oh, I got it. This was up here. And then this was over here. Uncle Jesse Land. All right, I did it. Let's make sure this. Oh, f it. <laughs> Damn it. Sh it. All right, here we go. So. Sufficient. All right, before I dive into all the details about the Calpac, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on why I decided to do a luggage collection. I have used so many different brands. So I had all the fancy, fancy stuff, and I have to tell you, the first thing that drove me crazy was everybody had that bag. So like, I could never tell which bag was mine. The second thing that drove me crazy is I hated that like I spent so much money on this luggage and it would break. So like all the projects that I like to do, I decided I wanted to crowdsource and like build a really cool collection. It was so much fun and we are so proud of it and it's doing so well and it's been one of the funnest things that I've ever, ever worked on. So it took the Calpi team and I about a year and we had so many meetings and I asked so many questions. You guys really helped me to pick out every single detail when it came to the handle, when it came to the wheels, when it came to the size, the inside. So that's the one thing that drove me nuts about all the expensive brands is they didn't have pockets on the inside for all the little things that I needed. So it's super functional. I'm really excited about how we decided to do the locks versus the zipper. Again, like I'm so sick of zippers breaking. So just to give you guys a little bit of like insight, my kit weighs 75 pounds and I've been using this particular bag for over probably four or five months and it's like still gorgeous and like brand new, it's amazing. And the other thing I really wanted to do was I wanted to be able to personalize it. Like that's the thing that I hated the most is my laptop, my iPad, my phone, I could put stickers on it and I know that it's mine. But I felt like with luggage, nobody really had, at the time, nobody had stickers. So it was really fun for us to be able to come out with these really fun travel themed stickers that we could kind of personalize the luggage with. All right, so first up is this amazing aluminum frame. We worked so hard to source the right kind of framing. I wanted to make sure that like everything felt super secure. And I was super adamant about having these TSA approved locks so that you can basically, it's like a quick little, clip stitch and it stays super tight and secure so you know that your bag is closed. One of my favorite features on the Calpac are these Hinamoto wheels. You guys have no idea how many wheels we went through. I wanted the wheels to be super sturdy because that's another thing that used to always happen to me. My wheels would break. So these are 360 degree silent spinner wheels or Hinamoto which is like super fancy. All right, I'm gonna leave in the description box below where you guys can find the cow pack. And I'm so excited because we have a trunk, a large, a medium, and a carry-on that you guys can go and check out. They're 285 to 385 depending on the size. And they come in four gorgeous colorways. So you guys voted on having pink, gold, black, and red. And right now I'm like loving my red. I think I might switch to black next. All right guys, thanks for watching. Okay guys, make sure you adopt and don't shop. Trust me, it's the best thing you'll ever do. Thanks for watching. Make sure you let me know if you want to see any other packing tips. I can show you my personal bag and my carry-on. I'm super proud of how this turned out. Thank you to the CalPAC team. And I am going to go. I can subscribe. Bye.